here that involves uh, the coordinate grid. And what they might do is give you some kind of shape with these points. That's the dots right here. And you can tell what the points are instantly, usually because right next to the point will be some type of letter. So here they put S and R and T, or typically write RST, like the alphabet. And they want to know what are the coordinates of point T. Or they might write coordinate pair uh, as well, instead of coordinates. And here's T right here. And they give you all these choices. The format for a coordinate is usually written in parentheses. And then in those parentheses, the first number will be the number that you go to from the origin at zero. Um, left or right on the x-axis. And the second number after the comma is y. And and y is the number that represents where you go up or down on the uh, y-axis. Now this, the x is the fancy name for that is the ordinate and the y is the abscissa. But I think it makes a lot more sense just to refer to them as the x and y coordinate values. So t is over here and to figure out how to get there we just should remember, first of all, that the x direction comes first. And this, I think, is derived from the idea of science, where we have time, for example, on the x, and then temperature on the y, where x usually comes first because this is where we usually put our independent variable, in this case, time. As time goes along, the temperature is either rising or falling based on, well, the temperature is based on the time. So the y is second, it's the dependent variable, and that carries over into this coordinate plane right here. So we start at the origin, always start there, and we go left on x to four. So that means negative four, right? We're going left, sorry, I said four. This is negative four, comma. Well now we go down on our y to negative three. So the point is negative four, negative three, and they switch it here, try to trick us, I guess. And there it is right there. Now, uh, sometimes they might do this where <clears throat> you have the vertices on a rectangle. So they want to know which figure below represents a rectangle with these vertices. So a vertice is just where two lines meet. So this line and this line meet here to form a point, which is a vertice. Now the last one they called it a coordinate point. You could have called it a coordinate pair, the x and y value pair. In this case, we're calling them vertices. So let's check one point at a time, and um, since this is multiple choice, hopefully 3, 2 won't be in every one. So here's 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and up 2. So this one's out, doesn't even have that point. Same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, out, doesn't have that point. This doesn't have that point. So look, the answer here is D, and just to verify, this point is 3, 2. This point is negative 1 and then up 2. That was the next point. This point down here is negative 1, negative 1. Right there. And this point is 1, 2, 3, f down 1. So it's 3, negative 1. So D is the answer. And notice we get lucky in that one. Sometimes it will be designed that way where one point, the first point you check, just won't appear in any of the graphs except for the correct one. Uh, this one, I, I must have deleted the question, but the question was, what is the value of P? And the answer is 3, negative 2. Most common mistake is perhaps to switch that, to say negative 2 first, then 3. Just remember, that's not correct because the X axis comes first. It's the independent axis. Oh, and this relates back to um, circle questions. Again, 16 pi is the circumference, and circumference is diameter times pi. That means whatever the diameter is, circumference is about three times longer. They give us this formula here, 2 pi r. That's the same thing. Um, they're just writing the order differently. So 2 pi r could be written as 2 r pi. You can change the order of everything, and 2 r is the same as diameter. So this is just diameter times pi. Um, when you put these letters next to each other, 2 and the r and, and the pi, that just means multiply. So over here we have diameter times pi. So that means they're giving us 16 pi, which is 16 times pi. So they're telling us the diameter is 16, because it's diameter times pi, or 16 times pi. And the radius would be half of that.